And I mean, thank you all guys for casting. Uh, also, big kudos to all the other casters from uh, from the French the French team, the, the Germans, the Turkish. Uh, they've all been casting the game throughout the season. Um, it's been so amazing. Um, we're getting more casters next season because more games means more casters. Uh, but I just want to say thank you to, you to to all of you so much because this final series, both matches were just fucking amazing. Uh, there's no other way yeah. to describe it. Yeah. Um, yeah. All games were really close, extremely nice fights. It was just I think this is the best this, this game has to offer right now, and I'm so happy to be part of it. It's good. GG's, guys. Yeah. GG's. And uh, GG's, hope buddy. you all have a good rest of your weekend. I'm going to pull out now, but uh, it was an absolute pleasure to be a part of this uh, this group tonight, guys. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that was oh, some good for a uh, That was some good fun, uh, man. Hang on, hang on. Dude, we'll can we call it now? EU superior well. to NA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <What's that mean? laughs> Delgis's face, then he was like, I was hoping nobody would say it. What? <laughs> EU number one. Is that what we're... Well, you say EU one number one? one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to bring in the team captains, guys. So... Get your stack in, Zalgis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what were you yeah. saying, CB? I'm going, I'm, I'm going to bring in, bring in the team captains. I'll see if Pyan and, uh, and both Temple Shot are available. Uh, there's the Temple Shot. Welcome. Um, for everybody oh, who's watching, the, the cameras will probably fuck up now. Um, I'm not gonna bother and try and correct them. <laughs> it's just going to be what it is. Take um, my spot. I gotta go anyway. Take, yeah. Okay. Take, take my spot. Forgive me. Right, give yeah, me my spot. I'm gonna. I have to pass out. I have to peace out. But uh, I want to say GGs, everybody, and uh, thank you so much for having me. Yep. And uh, I'll catch you guys all on the flip side. Definitely uh, pass the cameras for to my spot to a uh, temple shot. Right, right. right. <laughs> see you, my man. Thank all you. Right, have a night, guys. <laughs> That means we're going to see Tambo's pretty face as well, are we? Or is he not going to be... Uh, we know he, he, he might be here. Uh, we'll just have to wait a little bit. All right, let's go. Uh... Congrats again, Tambo Shot. Well played. Yeah, cheers, guys. That was a yeah. tough final. That was absolutely amazing. I'll, I'll see if I can get the uh, Pine in here as well. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, there he is. Uh... Da, 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 da. Yeah, congratulations, uh, Tambo Shot. That was one of the best series we've probably ever watched. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, close games. Hi, Pyan. Hello, Pyan. Welcome, welcome. Oh, GG. Hello. By the way. Hey, I'm sorry for dragging <laughs> you. Yeah, I just uh, we we, we, oh, no, we need you here right now. Yep. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, Pyan. I I just want to congratulate you on the games. Uh, like they were all, all really amazing. Well done with your team. Uh, we've got Temple Shot here as well. Um, I mean, we we are seeing it in the chat as well. All of the players are the winners, uh, I think, in this series. Um, so I'll, I'll have you uh, talk first, Bayan, and then we'll listen to Temple Shot as well. Okay, yeah. Um, great job, Temple Shot. You guys played amazing. Um, I think that was probably the most fun series. At least it's top three, maybe, most fun series of tournaments I've ever played. Like, really good competition, really good strats. Um, yeah, all around, great job. We went in there knowing that we didn't scream as much because we basically only scrimmed NA and we're like, oh no, we had a we had a little scream yesterday. Um, I, I don't know which team it was exactly, but it had like Flare Star and some other people. But um, yeah, we planned as as best as we could, but um, planning and a little bit of, I guess, understanding the map could have helped a lot in the end. Like. I you on yeah. about the tab right side bridge with with getting stopped with, yeah. with Nam comes. Yeah, we were like, guys, that was amazing uh, for you guys. That was a yeah, really good like, one. Okay, 14 <laughs> people, get on your horses. <laughs> you killed so many horses, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we kept saying juicy. it. We were surprised you didn't surround yourself with ISGs or something. And they. Yeah, we actually we didn't bring ISGs on attack. That was the thing. Yeah. So we just yeah. just put a palace guard later, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was really great. Um, I think this map honestly is really fun for tournament. Um, yeah. I think it's attacker friendly for sure, but it's it, there's yeah. so many different parts of the map. Like lots of other maps, it's like okay, you fight here and then you fight here and it's over. But yeah, this map yeah. was so really fun options. to learn. Yeah, I loved it honestly. It was really fun. It was, really it, good it was also amazing to watch well, like, like the map and just like I think I don't know if it's because it's just new. It's like new and shiny, but like the the the. Every team had a different strategy when they defended today. Like, literally every single team. Nobody did it the same. They did it similar in certain ways, like defending B and concentrating on the, the bridge from B to the, the defender's cap. But no one did it exactly the same. Yeah. Which was cool to see. And uh, I like the tempos. You're obviously, your defense is like the, the baiting out of the pretend calf as if you were going to sally out, just kind of 
down so they didn't come a certain way. The whole defending that bridge, knocking down the bridge and obviously stopping them from rebounding it. Like, just delayed time. And obviously, once yeah. you take the A point and then you take that little four point, you've got 15 minutes pretty much to attack B. So, like, for you guys to be able to pretty much waste four or five minutes of uh, the pawn guard guys on the, on the attack straight away, then stops you having to defend the B point, which is pretty pretty difficult to do, is is um, just because of trebs and stuff. Um, yeah. And obviously, you guys don't have artillery. So, yeah, it's definitely a good strategy. It was very, very well worked. If, as long as you could avoid the trebs when you were defending the bridgeway, you were fine. Yeah, well, exactly. And that, that was part of it as well as that sort of fake salary just to buy time for us to use culverins to kill their trebs. Um, I mean, the first game, I think we only killed the one, but the second game, we killed two of the trebs there. So it makes it a lot uh, easier to hold that position. I didn't even bridge. think he used destroying the trap tabs in my head. I was just thinking, oh, it was just like... Yeah, yeah, so down. we had the three coven's in the church. Maybe I shouldn't give away our strats. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, three yeah. three coven's in the church were really good at killing those trebs. Um So that was part of the plan for that, which is baiting and, and wasting time so we could do that. So the second game, like I said, we killed three trebs there. We did get caught out and a few of us died, including myself, trying to retreat back then, which isn't great. Um, but it shows them when you're trying to hold B, if those two outside traps they can't hit, and they're two of the most important ones. It makes it a lot easier to hold on there. Yeah. You know, you know, it's really, 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 really good game. Uh, we didn't even, I mean, this is the first time I'm here, and none of us knew that you broke our traps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we killed, in the first game oh, oh. we killed the very right hand one, or the very end one, and then the second game we killed the two of them. That so makes it a lot harder, because only a couple of traps will hit on that bridge, so it makes yeah, it so yeah. much easier to hold. Yeah, that's mad. That's, yeah, that's, that's actually I've got a question good. for you, Thank for you. the knee point. Why did you use pull back? Like, it looked to me like you could have probably held them still at B. At the last fight, right? On the set, do you mean on the second on, game? On, yeah, on, they, on the they last take fight, the they... resupply. Um, so because they had the resupply, it was just not really worth us having the fight there. And we knew we had the unit advantage um, from looking at the scoreboard. So we just pulled back to take a more defensive position just to not risk it. Because you saw in the, in the first time we defended it, we stayed too long on B, had really awkward fights, and ended up losing the game from it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you almost you... lost the game because you pulled back, to be fair, because that push from Pond Guard was fucking tasty. Yeah, we, yeah haven't like... really, we haven't really set up on base point before, because, not to be cocky, but a lot of our scrims didn't get to base point. Um, so we didn't have the best defense plan for that. So we had a few positions, like having the range up in the back. Like, I know that we had some coconuts on Amia that did a lot of damage when you guys pushed in the first time to the last point. Mm -hmm. um, so we had some good positions there, but we just got caught out of position. You guys got a good setup mm -hmm. on point. Honestly, I thought we'd lost the game there. We'd lost, I think, to what, six yeah, heroes on base point? You lost well. one. And we were, yeah. I was like, in my head, I was like, ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> um, we managed yeah. to delay long enough for our cab to then come back in and start wiping the point. It was yeah, we thought very, we, very we all fought the cast, and it was like, that was it. But as soon as we seen the cap getting yeah. kicked and the heroes fall, and I was like, this looks like yeah. Pongar's going to turn this around and get this point here. You guys must have get on and off of yeah, the point we just long managed to delay enough. To just delay it, yeah, no, just, yeah like, uh, I managed to get out with just the tiniest sliver of health and heal back up and come back in again and just playing around it like that. So it, it was very, very close, very tense final. Uh, yeah, I bet. Really good fun to play, so GG Pion is very, very good. Yeah, good game. Uh, on that uh, home point, I think we just ran out of juice. We, we ran out of our units. That first push after we rebuilt the bridge and then try to take that supply, I think, is what lost us in the end because those units would have been really helpful uh, for yeah. the home push. But yeah, I mean, we, we played right into your hands and props to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Like I say, it was really, really fun map, honestly. I think it's probably one of my new favorite tournament maps because there's so many different ways you can attack and defend it. Yeah. There's so many different options there. Really yeah, definitely fun. agreed. Definitely well, just better than like the War and those Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <so> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was going into it, I was like, shit, we're going to play the same map so many times. But actually, looking back, I'm like, no, I'm glad we did because. Apart from Reggie, the other uh, capital maps are so awful. But for yeah, me, and I think for the future, like this tournament for these two final sets is going to be like the blueprint for all the future tournaments on this map, mm. which is pretty interesting. And like yeah. CB said, there's so many different ways you could, or all the teams had different ways to defend. Uh, I think you said to defend B, but in general, or, like defend and attack, so many yeah. different ways. So. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. Like it. Something, if you, something. If you saw the, 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 the first so. playoffs as well, but blame at least actually full sallied out. They full yeah, they did it against out. us in scrims when we first played them, and it works. It works really well. Yeah. If you're not ready for it, you can get completely fucked up by it. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and also, I think something... the only reason they won their game, to be honest with you, is because they sallied. They just had so many more units left at the end. Yeah. They yeah. won that. They won the one of them, didn't they? On this. Yeah, and why? And also something else I, I was thinking is that um, you guys took a really long time for for that final fight in the last match, um, and. We noticed that you were sending Sig and I think it was SKW to the left, and then that is a route that not many 
teams have, or, or well, even you guys uh, haven't used that much. Is that something like that you were discussing a lot at that time, or? Um, are you talking about the far left on home point? Yeah, the far left on home yeah, point. Yeah, when yeah, you go yeah, into exactly. when you okay. go into the bridge. Yeah, uh -huh. and then you go. Yeah, in one of our scrims, we tried like a full fifteen man push on that side, but it's not very troubleable for attackers. So we figured it's just better to sneak something around the flank there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, the, you could go all the way around almost and loop around home yeah. point, pretty strong. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, and I think that was shot in the end. Um, like big kudos to to you and the team for like understanding this map to such a, a high level. I would say with the bridge. Um, I mean, we've seen the longest bridge defense ever. Uh, I think. Uh, what was it like on both sides? Uh, by and first, many you... horses lost their lives. <laughs> <laughs> <Many> horses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was nuts. I tried oh, jumping off fun. my horse at one point right before it died, but it still died. <laughs> no, it was good fun. Well, like I said, we, we scrimmed so much on this map. Honestly, like, probably played at least 10 to 15 games on this map. Over, like, four or five different scrims. So it was, I really appreciate it to the other teams we scrimmed against. So we scrimmed the likes of Eden, Blame Elias, and those guys. So mm. really appreciate that because it, it did put us in a good position. You know, without that much training, we wouldn't have done so well. Uh, we learned a lot of things from it. We still learn things today playing against playing, you know, playing against you guys. We learned a lot of things that we didn't learn from the scrims as well. So it's been overall a really good experience. I'm really happy with On the results. Honestly, that was the most impressive thing I thought from both teams. Like the, the, you, everyone will agree, the first pond guard defense was a lot worse than the second one. Yeah. And it was oh, the yeah. exact same for the We Are Clowns one. There was like you, there was like slight adjustments that were made that made such a huge difference, man. Like both teams, you see a lot of other teams that are less experienced, and there's they'll, something will happen. And they, they'll be so emotional about it, they won't actually be able to, to change what needs to get changed. They'll just be like pissed off and demoralized. Whereas you guys, like, I, I, I thought that was amazing that like both teams, like, it, they didn't change your, your full strategy, but you just tweaked it. And both times it was such a huge improvement, like just the tiniest little tweak. It was, it was really impressive, man. Like, Definitely. I will say I like the use of the um, the new Healy units as well with the smoke on, on that bridge. Very effective. Yeah, yeah oh, well, that's, that's what I say. Are they, after that, yeah. are they not? We don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like yeah, that. I said that just as you here. guys did that. I am sorry. I was I was saying no, that, that uh, afterwards. That uh, yeah, like one thing that probably would never nobody notices with the fact that the apocalypse is actually through the smoke before your push, and then all of a sudden like the range that uh, Temple Shots guys had on there would have been pretty much useless, and you guys pushed them back off again and managed to win that advantage on that B for a bit and uh, slowed them down again. So it was that was really really quite clever and. Uh, very well used, and also you were constantly keeping your units healed that were off of the, and on the point while traps and stuff were coming. So that was quite a good idea to do that, and it definitely worked for you to push off of them. Yeah, that was yeah, something. I mean... uh, oh, uh, that was something we came up with with the smoke, and then uh, initially our plan was like you know smoke and then push, so you won't see the push coming. And then we also figured like next time we could just smoke and not push and just keep shooting range kind of thing mind games uh but then uh, i think what happened on our first defense was we kept falling for your baits every time you would act like you're pushing up and then we would get hit by trez or we'd lose some ground stuff like that so uh i remember calling like okay push down smoke and it's like <laughs> oh wait okay back up back up back up <laughs> like three times and i kind of baited some of my teammates as my fault oh, yeah, definitely. but um yeah, yeah. The, but you bait the us in zogs i was like fuck they're smoking run run back run back they're smoking. <laughs> i was like oh wait they're not <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah this is so funny yeah did it, you guys then, uh, know prior to the first match though that there was the the free death count for it because obviously you just you do obviously scrim tempo so you guys knew about it did you just, that it was only three deaths yeah 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 so yeah. I, I posted to all the team captains anyway in the tournament channel um in the key team captain area because oh, we okay. f figured it out on our first time scrimming we're like why can't we join the spectator and then we realized then that it was cbls i actually um, seen that and completely forgot if i'm honest yeah now that you said it i just literally remembered that i read it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we were able to join spectator to put it on that one i think uh, was... the grasslands normal mode was no spectator yeah yeah, yeah i was on the, the, sure. like, wow, this new wow, map wow, it doesn't land. say cbl but it is, but it is. Uh, three lives for some reason yeah but you can still get spectator so it was a bit interesting yeah. i didn't realize that it was a cbl strategy until you obviously somebody mm -hmm. messaged it the actual Twitch chat, then I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, that we makes sense why we got all the attacks are winning. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But I'm interested to see how this tournament plays out without a three life rule because with three lives in this map, the time is so long. You, you can waste five to ten minutes doing nothing yeah. and still mm -hmm. come out to the end point or lose all your units before you get to the end point. Yeah. So, but with, with uh, unlimited lives, I'm interested to see like 
how many more fights you can get you know maybe we get some more deathmatch at the end mm -hmm. uh that blame elias versus eden reginopolis fight was so fun to watch with the deathmatch oh, the yeah. first death match. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah that was super yeah, fun to watch i think it'd be more interesting because you'll have people suiciding for units more like yeah. for instance the namkins that we had shooting the whole time you could potentially jump across the bridge and, and kill them and not have to worry about your life things like that yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. you know go through just add a lot more dimension yeah well, definitely i think they need to change it was it dasu fought as well like earlier on in the season that was only cbl uh yeah that's where as well yeah that's who yeah yeah there's a couple of the maps in there that have not changed the, that massively not changes that as well on that's yeah. if you think people normally set up on the resupply there and, and try and hold if there's no death limit then you can suicide in do a yeah, lot exactly. more stuff you could on that's you could also do similar strats like uh, you guys did on the harbor city right where you, where you push on one side you really spawn and you quickly go to b um yeah yeah definitely yep yeah, yeah it's so interesting it was fun because all the past tournaments we had to enter like a tournament server mm -hmm. a separate tournament server and then it's all three lives which is how we played the whole time so yeah, yeah. with multiple with unlimited lives it's, i think it's more fun honestly it keeps the fight going keeps the match till the end what i really think is cool as well is like there's so many teams like if we're being honest any team that fights against your two teams especially at this league was screwed and then if it would have been a normal tournament they would have been out and that would have been it but like the amount of teams that maybe got smashed in their first match, but then actually had the opportunity to improve as the league went forward, mm -hmm. it's such, such. I think for all players that are involved, it's it's the best way of doing it, instead of just being sudden death, you're out. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. definitely yeah, the league system is yeah. definitely better, I think, as well for everybody. It's a nice change. Yeah, yeah, it gives you it gives everybody in the team to progress and actually get enough matches to actually learn how to play these matches and kind of style of games, tournament stuff. Whereas you don't get that in the CBL because of you could literally be your first ever time taking part in the CBL and then you lose, your, you're not getting a practice, you're not getting a try anymore unless you're doing scrims, but not everybody can always get their team to scrim as well. Yeah, especially if you lose. Or like in your case, Mark, you get unlucky where like people can't turn up and you have to fight 13v15, wasn't it, for your first yep. CBL game? Yeah, uh, we won that So one. you can avoid things like that. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it avoids things like that. I, I am very sad that we finally lost our undefeated... Uh, yeah, that is true, though. Yeah, that is true. You were on the seventh yeah, game winning yeah, streak. Yeah. You, 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 something like twenty-two games or something. We were undefeated yeah. completely. But... Seventeen games. Technically, yeah. it was a pretty technically, you won map, the so... series. Potentially, <laughs> series won. You've not, you, you've not all, lost man. the series. I, want I, want I don't want, I want to lose a single match. <laughs> yeah, on last match we broke your prediction. On the last matchup, when they'd already won the when they'd already won the group as well, I was DMing tempo shot, and I was like. He's gonna do some. Uh, are you gonna sally out and just do some random shit for the lols? And he was like, "No, no, I want a white. So I want a full whitewash." And I was like, "Oh, don't be." We like were that. so tempted. <laughs> and it was pointed out that we were undefeated because I didn't realize at the time. I hadn't thought about it. But then um, when we were doing the podcast, uh, CB mentioned it, and I was like, yeah. "Oh shit, yeah." So then, then I was like, "Now nah, we gotta try hard this shit." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, well, you, you sure did. You sure did. But uh, clearly, Pine also had the same idea of tryharding it. So I guess uh, that makes that makes you equal in a sense. Yeah. Um, all right. So guys. Um, We've been talking so much, I love it. Um, I want to talk about next season as well. Uh, like uh, Nine Fingers mentioned, um, uh, the league is... I think the most amazing part about the league is that teams get to keep playing, even if you um, end up on the lower seedings, you still get to play in next season in a different like division uh, with other teams that have also lost a lot of games and you also get to improve. Um, how are you looking forward to next season? Um, you will be playing, let's see, out of the top of match, Jack the Ultras, Blame Elias, uh, Eden, of course. Uh, surf slayers who have been not so good this season or not what we expected but they will definitely be better Slavs, Rose um, I might be missing one but what do you expect I think from next all season? Of them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it's going to be harder to get scrims in now because we're going to be in the same uh, league as them um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, might be no, true I'm looking, forward to, I'm looking forward to getting some games against Elias against Jack, against surf slayers because we haven't played them mm -hmm. um, so we'll see what, what they hold up to next season let's yeah. see if we can go for uh, me and Piano have to race to see who can get the full season undefeated next season. Oh. <laughs> oh. Can I... I, I, don't, I don't know if there'll be an undefeated thing in this league this time around. Yeah. Can, be a lot more can we get a bet going for yeah, this yeah. one, uh, Temple Shot? What's that, sorry? Can, can we get a bet going for this one? Um, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Buying anything from you, then? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, in the same way I'm interested to fight uh, teams from the, from the Pool B side um and just in general get more games in because i mean these tournaments is one of the biggest things 
part of this game that I'm enjoying right now. I mean, ranked, you know, is sometimes frustrating. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> you, you can't help some things. But in a tournament, you know, you're playing with all your friends and you're strategizing and all that stuff. So just I, I want to fight some teams in Pool B, but I'll, we're ready to fight anyone. Yeah, sweet. I mean, there'll definitely be scrims, I would have thought, wouldn't there, between the pools? I mean, it would probably oh, yeah, make sense sure. that you're not giving strats away to maybe potential enemies. But... Yeah. Well, of course, yeah, I mean, so... We'll do something the same as we did this time. You know, we'll just, on the weeks we're playing against, so let's exactly. say we're playing yeah. um, Pongard on Harbour City, for example, we'll scrim, like, Elias on there instead. So exactly. something yeah. similar yeah. we did this season. So it's not going to matter too much being in... Yeah, because there'll map. be different maps. So... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, will be, it will be a different map every week again, so you can figure out what teams you will and won't play and then you can adjust your scrims uh, accordingly <laughs> yeah for sure yeah it's going to I'm be very watch. interesting it, it will be a, like a tournament behind the scenes about who gets to scrim who and uh, on what maps <laughs> 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 yeah it's amazing yeah, and then uh, something else that's also going to happen of course is that uh, probably the first six teams from the uh, feudal division uh, will make it to core tournament so they will get like to the champions league basically for any like big big league, you could say big tournament, and that will be a real tournament bracket where you drop out if you lose. And then the first two from the Rustic division will also go to court tournament most likely. Um, so it means that then you already get to face off against the Rustic teams and see if like someone really improved a lot. So that's going to be yeah. something else that gets added to to the whole competitive scene. Yeah. Yeah, and there'll be new teams in there as well, which will add exactly. lots of things in. Yeah. So yeah. It'll be exciting. Yeah. We will have we will also have a third uh, playing division, you could say. Um, and two of those teams will automatically go to the reverse tech division um, and then get to fight for a spot in the feudal division in the season thereafter. Yeah. So plenty of games to come. Um, I'm just going to say it right now because I guess it makes sense. Uh, teams can still register until the 14th of May, which is in two weeks from now. Uh, so go to the Cyber Rifles Discord if you want to join. Um, there's plenty of players looking for teams as well. Um, some might already have a team, but they're just clowning around. Um, but definitely go to the Sea Rivals Discord, see if you can get a team together. You need, you need 20 players at least. Uh, more is okay because you can swap players in and out during the season. And um, we will restart the next season on May 29. Uh, somewhere before I've said May 22, but it will be May, May 29. Because honestly, I need one week more to prepare everything for the next season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because it's getting bigger. Um, so yeah, we have to get some, some more things sorted out. <laughs> Yep. All right. Well, boys, I'm gonna have to shoot off. Yeah. I gotta get early in the morning. Good. All right. It was a blast. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you all. the casters and all the other casters. Thank you very much. Thanks for the great Thank game, so much, as well. Yeah. And, uh, good games, yeah, thanks, man. casters. Yes. You guys. See you right. the next one. Thank you Take so care. much, guys. I'm gonna run the run the trailer from the tournament and then uh, I'll turn it off and see you next season. Yep. <laughs> Double peace, guys. Take all care. right. Take care. Take care. Take care. We are clowns, season winning guys. Fucking all of them. <laughs>